In this video, we'll talk about how to graph a line given its slope and y-intercept. This is a question that you'll see on homework one, and it's one that a lot of people seem to have some trouble with. What we'll do is we'll start with the given slope and intercept, turn it into a formula, plug in values of x, that'll get us to some coordinates, and then we'll use the line tool to graph the line on the provided axes. So I'm making notes here in Notepad. You're welcome to use anything you like. You could use Excel. You could do this by hand as well. We'll start with the slope and intercept that we're given. In our standard equation for the line, we usually call the slope m. And that equals a half here. We could also write it as 0 0.5, whichever way works for you. And the y-intercept is usually labeled b. In this case, it's negative 9. Now we know that the equation of the line is given by y equals m times x plus b. So if we substitute our slope and intercept in here, that'll give us a half times x plus negative 9, or a half times x minus 9. From this point, what we do is pick different values of x find the corresponding y's, and that'll give us sets of coordinates. Note that for a line, we only need to pick two values of x. And it's a simple, in this case, just to pick 0 as one of those values. So if we pick x equals 0, then we have y equals 1 half times x minus 9. We plug in x equals 0. So we have 1 half times 0 minus 9. Anything times 0 is 0. So we have 0 minus 9 equals negative 9. That means that the coordinates x, y equals 0 comma negative 9 is on the graph. That gives us our first point on the graph. Now for the second point, we could pick x equals 1. But notice here that if the slope is fractional, it actually is easier to pick a multiple of the denominator for the slope. That'll make our calculation a little bit easier. So let's pick x equals 2. Again, the idea there is that when we multiply 2 by a half, we get a whole number. So in this case, we once again have y equals a half times x minus 9. Now we plug in 2. And a half times 2 is 1. Subtracting 9 gives us negative 8. By the same kind of reasoning, we have the coordinates 2 comma negative 8 is on the graph as well. So with those coordinates, we can now go back over to our line. Let me move this over here so we don't lose sight of that. We have 0, comma, negative 9, 2, comma, negative 8. We choose the line tool from the toolbox here. Left click on that. And now we're going to position our two points. So the first one goes to 0, negative 9. We position our cursor there and left click. Now we have the option to place our second point. And here we're going to go out to x equals 2, down to y equals negative 8. That's the coordinate point 2 minus 8. 
you'll see that we have the two points on there. And now when we check, we see that our solution is correct. So that's a short version of how to graph the line given the slope and intercept.